What is going on everyone? Welcome again to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about restoring Apple Music on the iPhone. Now, what you probably mean by that, you're probably looking for instructions on how you can recover or re-establish the access through the Apple Music service on the iPhone. This could be because you have experienced some issues with the Apple Music app because you perhaps lost access to it or some other problems occurred with your subscription. So I'm going to be covering most of the stuff that you need to know about this topic. Of course, at first you need to make sure that you check the Apple ID. So if you open up the settings on your iPhone at the top, you have the Apple ID section right there with your name. So go ahead and click on it. And you have to make sure that you have everything set up properly. You need to make sure that the payment and shipping is set up. You can see I have my card linked. Everything is set up properly. So this will be the first step. Make sure that you have a payment set up um, and ready. Everything should be like set up properly, of course. Now, the next thing under it is the subscription. So if you click on the subscriptions tab, you're going to be able to get inside and manage all of these subscriptions which are already on your device. So the first one is, for example, the Photoshop for me, but the second one is already in the Apple Music. So you have to get inside of the Apple Music. And if something is wrong, in case it doesn't work, for example, you even have it in here, make sure to cancel the subscription and try it one more time to reestablish the connection if you want, or even switch to a different plan if this applies to you in case you want to switch to something else. But in case you don't have the Apple Music subscription and you want to re-establish it, you have to just open up the music app on your iPhone and inside of that, whichever section you on, just click on your profile or you will be definitely prompted to get the subscription. So you'll 100% be able to see it. Just go through it, make sure you have the payment set up and just subscribe to the Apple Music the regular way. Now, the next thing what you can mean by that is restoring Apple Music is a yeah, music which you have purchased, restore that music already purchased from iTunes. Now, what you can do is basically get the iTunes app. You know that this is the app which allows you to download ringtones and purchase individual songs. It's not a subscription based, of course. It's the usually like the old way of getting stuff, old way of downloading songs. So this is what I'm going to be showing you right now. And inside of this app, what you have to do in case you want to restore the, uh, uh, the music access, what you have to do is to click on the more options at the bottom. So you can see the three dots right there and you can see the downloads are right here. You can see the purchased, all the stuff can be found in here and you can find the purchased music. So you're going to click on music and this is going to show you all of the stuff which you have purchased. But in my case, I did not purchase anything in case you, you would see something in here, even though it wouldn't even be downloaded in this section in the more purchased and music, you would be able to find all the stuff which you have pre previously paid for and all the songs which you can restore technically. So this is another way of looking at it in case you have some songs within that you can also get them back because you have purchased them. So this is something that uh, you can go ahead and do if you want to as uh, well. So I'm going to remove it like this. Of course, if you want to restore music, you can always just sync it back with your Mac or with your computer. So you can, of course, just open up. It depends if you have a Mac or a Windows, but make sure to connect it through a cable to your computer and just open up the Finder app or iTunes app on your um, Windows and you can see locations, iPhone is connected. And what you can do in here is to simply sync it and you can sync your library from the uh, MacBook. You can sync and have the same music on both devices. So it's definitely very useful. This is another option of restoring music on your iPhone. So that's about that. That's probably the thing that you are looking for, yeah. So I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. I don't think that there is anything else what I could show you. In fact, there is, and I needed to show it to you right now. So this is basically the Fox Tech educational platform. It's something I created and you can join for free. Inside you can find other people which are already learning. You can see some people are here available. And in the classroom section, you're gonna be able to find the free video editing course as well as all apps explained. More stuff is adding, being added in here. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you are part of that. The link is in the description down below. It's free again to join. So definitely go ahead and do that. Now, this is going to be the end of this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials like this one. And I will see you in the future. Peace out until then.